helped write five mystery hunts, even wrote his undergrad thesis on the hunt. Gabby met Mark eight years ago at a different puzzle hunt, and the two have been puzzling together ever since. I know that this event, this hunt, is extremely special to them, and they are so grateful and thrilled to be getting married for real right here with all of you. Mark, would you please join me on stage and await your bride? Hi, everyone. I hope nothing goes wrong. Dear friends and loving family, we're gathered here to celebrate the marriage of Gabby and Mark. And I can't imagine a better weekend, a, a better place. <laughs> Cupid? Cupid, what's wrong? What's the matter? It's a disaster. As we know, all the love in the universe is generated by a mystical heart known as the Cardiac Omniscient Interdimensional Nexus. <laughs> The C-O-I-N, right, of course, yes. Yeah, well, time-traveling ninjas just stole the heart. <laughs> and they hid it somewhere on the MIT campus. Until we find it, love is broken. No one can get married, especially you two. <laughs> Luckily, the ninjas left a series of puzzles to lead us to the C-O-I-N's hiding place. OK. People, this is the time-traveling ninja threat that Nostradamus warned us about. <laughs> I know this is a long shot, but does anyone here like puzzles? <laughs> no, one, no, one, no one likes puzzles. No one, does anyone here like puzzles? <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, that is a lucky break. That's a lucky break. All right. I'm spitballing here, but I think we should break up into teams. <laughs> we'll put the puzzles up on a, on a website, and like I don't care if it takes us the whole weekend, we, we are going to find the C-O-I-N. If it's the last I thing- I Guess you won the mystery hunt during kickoff. <laughs> what do we win? You in love. Go get married. Well, in that case, we're back. <laughs> and it looks like thanks to Gabby, we'll be allowed to continue. I, yeah. I believe I was just saying, I can't imagine a better weekend, a better place for this celebration. 
Like many of you, I know the love story of Mark and Gabby through Puzzle Hunts. About, about eight years ago, I, uh, I invited them both to a party at my house in Indianapolis after the Gen Con Puzzle Hunt, and sometime that evening, my wife, Rebecca, pulled me aside, and she said, eh, Evan, do, does Mark know that Gabby's into him? <laughs> it will surprise nobody here to know the answer was no, no, he did not. <laughs> Several months later, I flew into Seattle for the Microsoft Puzzle Hunt, and Tannis picked me up at the airport, grinning, holding on to a wonderful secret. When I asked her what was going on, she said, well, you'll just have to wait until you see Mark at dinner. And she was right. I walked into the restaurant, and I saw Mark happy. <laughs> I'll never forget the look. I don't have to worry about that. It's the look I see every few months. It's the look I've seen on both their faces every year since. It's the look that you guys see on stage here this afternoon. But what really strikes me about that night wasn't the look on Mark's face, but the effect that it had on Tannis, on me, on all of our friends gathered for dinner. And so when I say I can't imagine a better weekend for this, this is what I mean. Here, on this weekend when we celebrate this art form that is about creating fun and joy to share with your friends and your loved ones, we get to celebrate not only the love that Gabby and Mark have for each other, but the joy that that love brings everybody lucky enough to know them. And so it is on this joyful day that I get to say, dearly beloved, we are gathered here to join in union, Mark Gottlieb and Gabby Weidling. This is not a union to be entered into lightly, but thoughtfully and seriously with reflection on its obligations and responsibilities. The two have prepared vows that they will now read to each other. A few years ago, we were driving down 180th at night when Black Sun, the new Death Cab for Cutie song, came on the radio. You love Death Cab, whereas I generally regard them as bleep bloopy music. <laughs> you pointed out that this song rocks harder than typical Death Cab. I considered that and agreed that this song was less bleep bloop and more bleep bloop. <laughs> Rather than kick me out of the car, as any normal person would have done, you cracked up and made me repeat bleep bloop five more times. I immediately knew two things. One, we would be together for the rest of our lives because we are monsters that deserve each other. And two, that this story was going into my wedding vows. What? Yeah. <laughs> A long con. By nature, <laughs> by nature, I'm a solitary person. I like to be alone. But every single day, I choose to be with you. And that's a choice I can't believe I'm lucky enough to make. Gabby, I love you. And with all my heart, I choo choo choose you. <laughs> <laughs> Kids, that's, that's a Simpsons reference, and I had to do that because she's going to do a uh, Princess Bride reference later. All right. I promise to be your partner, to support you, respect you, and cherish you through the ups and the downs, the good times and the bad. I promise to push you and get pushed by you so we can be the best versions of ourselves for one another. I promise to hold your hand when you need it and to tickle you when you don't. I promise to get you to make that mad but happy face as often as possible, to educate and infuriate you with true facts, <laughs> to fill your life with puzzles and puns. I can, can promise <laughs> to never double cross stick you <laughs> simply because you maze me. <laughs> All of this and more. <laughs> I promise you, for as long as we both shall live. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Mowage. <laughs> He knew it was going to 
happen. It was inevitable <laughs> that it would I happen. I posted it on Facebook right before coming out here, so <laughs> it's not like I, I added it in because you said it. Oh, no, it. I know. <laughs> I don't know if you know this, but writing vows is pretty hard. <laughs> uh, well, you've had a story for years. <laughs> and it's not hard because I don't have a million happy memories to share or because there aren't things I want to promise you. It's because you filled my life with so much joy that I don't know how to distill that into just a few words, <laughs> just a few promises, and just a few minutes. But I'm going to try. <laughs> uh, so people who know us know that uh, I can't keep a secret from you at all. Uh, you, you knew about mailage. <laughs> um, and last night, um, you figured out that the reason I wanted to make sure that you had a pencil and that Evan asked if you would have one on you is because right before we were coming out, I wanted to ask you, hey, can I borrow a pencil? which I have here, because I'm the only person on Earth who goes to puzzle hunts without a pencil. <laughs> <laughs> and I needed something borrowed. And you figured it out, because of course you did. <laughs> <laughs> and I actually asked you for this, not right before we came out here, but a little while ago when we were sitting in the audience. And it was when I reached this stage that I switched from writing my vows in pen to writing them in pencil. So, there aren't any certainties in life, except for you, for me. You are my certainty. And I promise to spend the rest of my life trying to bring that same level of certainty through happy, through sad, through tough, through easy, through the fun, through the not fun, to you. I promise to grow with you and love with you and keep being the best version of myself and helping you be the best version of you for as long as we both so live. And I promise that I'll always ask to borrow a pencil before puzzle hunts. <laughs> And now, Mark, do you take Gabby to be your wife? Do you promise to love, honor, cherish, and protect her, forsaking all others, and holding on to her forevermore? I do. And Gabby, do you take Mark to be your husband? Do you promise to love, honor, cherish, and protect him, forsaking all others, and holding on to him forevermore? I do. The couple will now exchange rings as a sign of this commitment. Ring bear, if you don't mind. <laughs> Place this ring on Gabby's left hand and repeat after me. As a sign of my love. As a sign of my love. Placing you above all else. Placing you above all else. With this ring, I thee wed. With this ring, I thee wed. You please place this ring on Mark's left hand. Yeah. As a sign of my love. As a sign of my love. Placing you above all else. Placing you above all else. With this ring. With this I ring, wed. I thee wed. This marriage will take love and trust. Continue to live your lives together, making each other better and bringing joy to each other and to all of us every day. It is with great pleasure that I get to say, by the power vested in me, by the Commonwealth of Massachusetts, I now pronounce you married. You may declare, <clears throat> you may seal this declaration with a kiss. Back witch.
one more time. Allow me to present the newlyweds, Mark Gottlieb and Gabby Weidling. So that, that's it. <laughs> we thank you all so much for being here on our special day. Um, and we have some fun news. For our honeymoon, <laughs> Gabby and I are going to a theme park. You know, for amusement. <laughs> it's called Penny Park. Um, I have, we, we, both, we each have great memories when, from when we used to go there when we were kids. Um, and the best news of all is that we got you all weekend passes. You're all coming with us. I can see from your applause that you like free stuff, but you're a little iffy on what is Penny Park? Well, it's the best theme park on earth. I loved it as a kid, and I've been waiting for a special occasion to go back, like this. And you know why it's called Penny Park. Cha. Okay, so there's this lady, Judy. She's brilliant, imaginative. She designed and built this entire theme park for her granddaughter, Penny. Hence the name Penny Park. And the opening skit. Oh yeah, and the opening <laughs> skit. So there's a gate, that was the best part. There's a, a giant gate. And the park mascots, that's the Looney Toonies, they come out, and you get to vote for which one you want to open the gate every morning. That sounds cool. Do you have like a video of that yeah, yeah, or yeah. something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me my no, phone. No, Your okay. phone? No. A phone. All right. I've got a video here. Oh. Just a beep, boop, boop, bop, boop. Mm. <laughs> mm. Welcome to the most fantastic place on Earth. I'm Judy, the creator of Penny Park. And I'm so excited because it's time to open the gate. Oh dear, I can't seem to find my key. It must be time to call in the loonies. I'm Centim the Flapper and give me the chance to open the gate with my crazy dance. I'm Durham the Wizard. In me you can trust. I'll make the gate disappear with this magic dust. I'm the big bad wolf, wipe away that frown. I'm the one you need to blow that gate down. <gasps> that gate will fall down because I'm such a card. You're going to die. You'll be laughing so hard. Luma's my name. I'm your outer space guide. Hop into my rocket. I'll fly us inside. We're the king and queen. We reign from above. Will break that lock with the strength of our love. Well, park goers, you have to vote. Who opens the gate? Yell it out loud. The wizard! I'll need all of you to join in with me. On the count of three, just do what I do, and together we'll cast a very powerful spell. Okay? One, two, zipples up, jaboo! It is done! Wonderful! Now the gates are unlocked. I am officially prepared to declare Penny Park open! Have a glorious day! So, that was pretty cool, right? I'm sure it's just as awesome as the way I remember it. <laughs> So, oh, they're about to do today's <laughs> gate opening ceremony. We gotta go. Yeah. But we'll see you inside the park. We'll be at the Midway later today. Have fun, everyone. Yeah. Have fun.
most fantastic place on earth. Yes, thank you. I'm Penny, owner and manager of Penny Park. My grandmother Judy founded this park in 1992, and I'm so happy to continue her tradition of running the park and specifically opening the gates. Oh dear, I can't seem to find my key. Hmm, I know who can help. It's time to bring out the Looney Toonies. <laughs> Santim. I'm Santim the Flapper, and give me the chance to open the gate with my crazy dance. <laughs> Durham. I'm Durham the Wizard. In me you can trust. I'll make the gate vanish with this magic dust. <laughs> I'm, I'm the big bad wolf. Wipe away. Oh, I'll, I'll blow the gate down. Uh, just like the little pig's house. Uh, one. Two. Three. Of your crap! You are late again. Okay, no, it's like, every I'm time, sorry. Yeah, you criticized time, my acting. You criticized my time, Yes, I have halitosis. I'm sorry, but I trained at Juilliard. It was a correspondence. <laughs> it was a correspondence degree. I was in Pippin. Pippin four. I shared a taxi cab with Lin Manuel Miranda. You were the driver. <laughs> Queen Joan and Queen Paisa. <laughs> we're the, the king, king and queen. And queen. We, we reign from, from above. above. Will. Open that lock with the strength of our love. <laughs> okay, park goers, it's time to vote on which one of the Looney Tunies will open the gate. Yell it out loud. Who opens the gate? <laughs> The astronauts. Oh dear God. Uh, All right, Luma, are you ready? No, I don't have to I don't know where. At the space bar, of course. <laughs> Oh, oh, okay, everybody. So the astronaut's gonna fly us all in his ship over the gate, but we need your help. So uh, watch the astronaut and do what he does and say what he says, and together maybe we'll be able to power his ship with your joy. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> 
And now that the gates are open, it's time to step inside and explore the magic of Penny Park from me and all of the Looney Tunes. Have a glorious day. coming to Penny Park today. Uh, this is the largest crowd we've had in, uh, oh well, ever since I've been in charge anyway. And while we're so excited to have you here, I do feel I need to let you know that this is the final weekend of Penny Park. I know, I know, but we are going to go out with a bang. We've decided to stay open round the clock for one gigantic weekend. <laughs> After that, unfortunately, Penny Park will have to close its gates forever. And have, have a glorious day. <laughs> you guys, oh my god! I know. We totally nailed that skit! <laughs> no? What are you talking about? Oh. Besides, it doesn't even matter. We're closing for good after this weekend. Wait, what? Kopech, she just said it. Oh, sorry, I was in my happy place. And there were ponies and rainbows and a duck that played the banjo. <laughs> Wait, maybe it doesn't have to close. Go on. Oh, thanks, Queen. Thanks, Queen. <laughs> this is the most people we've seen in the park for a very long time, right? Yeah. Well, what if we encourage them? to go out into the park themselves and have a great time. Oh. You know, to bring some life back into the place. Yes, they could tell all their friends. Come to the park in groups, teams even. <laughs> Perhaps with laptops. Yeah. Yes, yeah. of course. And if just somehow we could generate more buzz about the park, maybe we wouldn't have to close. Yes, it sounds like a plan. You there, the thousand closest friends of the bride and groom. <laughs> In just a short while, we will officially open the park, and we need all of you to have a magical time. Ride all the rides. Eat all the food. See all the shows. And then maybe, just maybe, that'll create enough buzz to save the park. Now the park officially opens at 1.30 which now that I think about it, it's a pretty stupid time to open a theme park. <laughs> Guys, this is why we're going down the toilet, I think. Oh, and for everything you need to know, you go to pennypark.fun. Once again, that's pennypark.fun. Because you can't spell fun without F <laughs> See you inside! See you inside! See you inside! See you inside! Good job, everybody. All right. Get out of here. Oh, please. Remain seated, please. Permanecer sentados, por favor. Hello everyone, my name is Corin Anderson, and I have some important information about health, safety, and rules for participating in this weekend's mystery hunt. Every team with an on-campus presence should have picked up a first aid kit when they registered. If you have not done so, please send your team captain or your health and safety marshal to the check-in desk uh, outside of the auditorium uh, on your way out. Or if you are watching this streaming, uh, you may pick these up 
uh, from back from your homeroom. You may pick those up from room 10, 105. If your team has minors participating, you should know that minors are not permitted to take part in any activities for the hunt between 1 and 7 a.m. In addition, minors must always be accompanied by their parents or legal guardians. It is MIT's policy that alcohol, that the possession and consumption of alcohol and drugs is not permitted at all during event. Uh, and this year, we're taking it rather seriously. Uh, this uh, rule also applies even if everyone on your team is over the drinking age. Well, we've just heard that your goal will be that you want to generate a lot of buzz to help save the park. Please keep that buzz on to pennypark.fun. In particular, do not share photos or details of this event that would spoil the puzzling for your friends or uh, uh, upset the competitive nature of the hunt. I'm sure everyone here uh, is, a, is aware of that we've had a lot of changes over the last several days regarding the overnight uh, policy. And I just also really want to say on behalf of Puzzle Club and Left Out, again, thank you for persevering through this. We're very sorry that this caused uh, uh, inconvenience, and I know some teams had to face some very difficult challenges. But again, thank you, and I think we'll, we'll, we'll push through this here. Uh, thank you. So let me recap where the conclusion of this saga. <laughs> Most importantly, throughout the entire event, day or night, Everyone involved should be wearing these our participant badges. Make sure that they're always very visible. If you're going outside and wearing 18 layers to stay warm, this has to be your 19th outermost layer so that anyone outside can see that. Uh, it, anyone in here probably pick them up on the way into the auditorium. Uh, we're, we're running a little short. If you discover that you have a few extra that you don't need, please drop them off at the check-in desk on your way out. And if you don't have enough, please find us in room 10, 105, and we'll get you some more as well. For any team that has a home base that we assign to you, if you told us before 10 a.m. yesterday that you have students involved with uh, solving on your team, then you'll be permitted to remain in that room overnight. If you didn't tell us that information, either because you forgot or because you don't actually have students involved, uh, then you will have to vacate that space between 1 and 7 overnight. And we will send some folks around during that time to make sure that those home rooms are vacated. Throughout this weekend, uh, during the day and at night, you are permitted to be on campus, walking about, looking at things, taking photographs, collecting data, solving puzzles as you go along. Uh, that is permitted. You may go access any unlocked, open public spaces, or you may go through intentionally unlocked doors, passages, corridors, etc. cetera. If you, uh, any place that requires an ID access to be, you will need to be escorted there by a student. While you're walking around, however, during this time, and especially overnight, you may not set up a makeshift home base in, in the middle of a hallway and stay there for hours and hours on end. Uh, uh, in addition, there's no sleeping on campus in the lounges, in the hallways, or certainly in the classrooms. Although we all know the, you all know the rules, we know the rules, and even MIT police know the rules, you may encounter a MIT uh, police patrol officer who asks you to leave a space. If that happens, please comply, and please comply immediately, don't argue, don't say, hey, I've got the name badge, it's okay. Uh, no, please just follow those instructions politely and immediately. After you've done so, come find us in room 10105 and we'll talk to the police and sort this out. A miscommunication, a misunderstanding can turn into an incident and an incident can have long-term consequences for the mystery hunt. You got a little bit of a taste of that this week. Uh, and finally, uh, remember that unless you're a faculty, staff, or student, of course, here at MIT, that you are a guest of the Institute. Please be respectful of 
the Institute and of their rules and policies. Uh, this is a great kindness that they do to uh, permit such a, uh, an amazing event happen here each year. Uh, so this weekend, please be on your best behavior and have fun. And as Penny would say, have a glorious weekend.